Hey, what's up guys, how we doing? Coming to you live from the Epic Garage Design Studio. I wanna thank my friends over at EBC Brakes, Coach Rob at CompleteRacingSolutions.com, uh, Steel City Men's Clinic, and of course, Epic Garage Designs. And also guys, CF7, check them out. Let me know if we should bring them on or not. Uh, if you go over to their Instagram page, make sure you like CSEA of seven. So anyway guys, let's get into this breaking news. Everybody love everybody! You all know exactly who I am. All right, guys, so the first, this is getting our, far too common in the sport. It almost never happened before COVID, and then we had COVID, and all of a sudden, events started getting postponed, changed, rescheduled. This has nothing to do with that, but it's just the fact that we're kind of getting used to it. We used to run rain or shine, but apparently the California flooding is bad. And all you old schoolers are gonna go, hey, we raced in this, we raced uphill both ways and in the mud and in the sand, but it's a different era. Let me just tell you how it works nowadays. Nowadays, we have these gigantic rigs. The pits are an activation center. Everything on the bike is sold by a manufacturer or like we're trying to, we're trying to optimize every little piece of advertising in the sport. Because that's the only way to make money, because the promoters don't return any of it back to the riders and the teams. So these teams have to sell every little piece of it. And you take them and make them go with the second round, their new canopies, their new graphics, their bikes. Like, and I'm not talking about the factory teams. I'm talking about the AGEs of the world and these other teams. You're going you're gonna to make them go ruin their perfect pit setup just because you want to run rain or shine? Well. And also, guys, ticket sales have to be down. Whenever you have conditions like this, the promoter's not going to make as much. And when there happens to be an opening in the schedule, February 18th, well, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to just go ahead and bump that. And the great thing about Oakland Stadium, the Raiders don't play there anymore. So it's pretty much open. Um, I'm sure they just had to check, make sure that was open. And they said, hey, guys, let's not ruin all our equipment. Let's make more money and, and do it in a better conditions. And hopefully February 18th, Mother Nature cooperates and we get a good race in. So, but that's it guys, uh, Oakland. So we're gonna be, man, sucks. As soon as we get back to it, we're like six days, we're racing again. But then you also have to think too, if you're Jason Anderson and you took a big crash and hey, that's six more days, seven more days that you get to recover. Um, by the time they get to San Diego, he'll be better. Uh, practice tracks out in Arizona or any dry practice tracks in California, you're going to be full. Um, Malcolm Stewart had that big crash. Like it gives him an extra week. It gives Pierce Brown an extra week. It gives these guys. So there's a lot of guys going, good thing this is postponed. And then you get the guys like Tomac that just won the race and they don't want to risk a mud race where anything can happen. Weird things always happen in mud races. You don't want to just lose that solid, like you just started off on a good foot. You can't have, you don't want to have the mud just throw a wrench into everything and, and set you way back. So I'm all for the, the postponement and I think it's a good thing. Um, what do you guys think? Hit me in the comments and then let me know. And then uh, those of you that asked about the Frank story, the shark story. I will be dropping that today and talking about how Frank and I smuggled a horn shark over the border. <laughs> Not a good move. I don't recommend it. So, and I didn't know this until yesterday when I talked to my buddy Frank, but uh, yeah, I could have been poisoned. So anyway, I'll tell that story on all day, every day, and there'll be a little uh, link into it. So if you want to check that story out, go for it.